Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to this show, whatever it is. I don't really know. See, I am the janitor for this location. And I've stumbled upon the secrets. So I thought I would introduce the show and just uh, get everything going. But let me explain my story. My backstory, my origin story. I'm the janitor. And I, I was just doing my janitorial duties around the place. Cleaning up and what have you. Mopping, brushing, mop brushing. Well, just got back. We had just such a great time aboard our first trip abroad. But, uh, but as a janitor, I never learned how to read. Should make that clear. There was one small hitch, though. I woke up really late and I had to travel in my PJs. Hooray. Everybody loves traveling in their PJs. We have a special offer today and a stunning standing stone. As always, you have a wide variety of other items as well. Why not just stop by? So, I was just doing my, my business. My, my cleaning up, my mopping, my, my, uh, my brushing. My uh, other activities that you do when you clean up. For example, cleaning the windows. And I stumbled upon this room that I'd never been in before, and I thought I should go into the room. I went into this room, the, and and there was a a GameCube with a with a with a game in it, and I played it, and it transported me to a magical world, and I got myth mythical powers from it, and so this this confused me so. I thought I would I would explain myself. Not this game. Not Animal Crossing. No, God, no. I realized that somebody in this in this in this building records Animal Crossing episodes and puts them up on the internet. So I thought I'll do that to try and explain my situation in case the, the police ever come along and find out that I now have mythical powers. I can travel to a different GameCube-based dimension. I think that leaving a little record like this behind is a good idea. Because then that way I won't be implicated for any... Not that I will commit a crime with my new powers, but the, I, it's a, certainly an option. Right? I mean, if you had superpowers, you would certainly consider crime. Right? You'd, you'd, you'd really think about it. And I certainly am thinking about it. You know? Because here's the thing. If I was a criminal, which I'm not, but I could be, what with my new bond powers that I got from playing this mysterious GameCube game that I don't even know. Not this one. But a mysterious GameCube game that transported me to a different dimension. That, um, my pockets are full. Crud. I gotta sell this crud. See what you've done to me, Mr. Raccoon. Mr. Rocky Raccoon. Alright, buy all this crap from me. Uh, so, I just thought, uh, you know, it's 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 a good way to get money. If you have a lot of powers, you can just walk into a bank and be like, give me the money. And then they have to give it to you. Uh, this is my understanding. Because you can turn your hand into a gun or whatever. This is one of my magical powers. I have many powers. One of them is I can turn my hand into a gun or whatever I find. It doesn't have to be a gun. It's whatever I, I, I wish, whatever I, I choose. I could, t I could turn my, my arm into like a little dinosaur if I wanted to. I find that the applications for turning my hand into a dinosaur are few and far between. There's very little applications for turning my hand, my arm, into a little dinosaur. But, like it's still attached to me, right? So like the tail is kind of like where my like where my arm is. You know what I mean? And then my where my hand is is kind of like the face, the dinosaur face. Look, don't worry about it. It was just something I thought I would do, right? I I, I wanted to see if it would work. Because, like, if, if I could turn my hands, my arms into anything, then I should I should test it out, right? And I did, and I turned it into a dinosaur. 
It's a little dinosaur, you know. It's not like a full size dino. It's 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 appropriately sized. It's not so that I don't fall over. It's not top heavy. You know what I mean? But anyway, so I just thought, uh, you know, if I do commit crimes with with all my my, my powers, that I could I could record this as uh, as a way to say to the police. I mean, I have already said right now that I'm going to commit crimes, and that's probably going to implicate me in court. So I'd like to recount that statement and say that if the police have got this far into the video, which is unlikely, that I will not be committing crimes with my new powers. And so if I am accused of such a thing, this video is evidence that I... I, I will not be a criminal and never have thought of that and to even accuse me of such a thing is very wrong and uh, you should be ashamed of yourself it's like because um, I got all these superpowers it's like discrimin discriminatory right there's someone with even more free well I don't know what that means so it's discriminatory because I have all these powers the police are picking on me hello Mitzi so that's that's rude, and they shouldn't be able to do that. So this this video is evidence for that. Um, just want to make that clear. And uh, I feel like the police are trying to get more information about how I can, about my mythical powers, what the ga the GameCube game is that allow me to transport to a different dimension. Again, these I'm not telling you. I, you know, I'm just a lonely janitor. I'm not the usual guy who does this video. So it's probably different today, but I um, I'm not telling you what I, how I, how how I'm not telling you, because then you'll do it too, and then I won't be special anymore, and uh, I don't like that. I like having these powers. If I if I if if you guys develop powers as well, you'll use them to fight me, and I feel like that's a waste of time. Frankly, there's no need for that. There's no need. You know, why we'll just all live in harmony with me as the absolute ruler of everything. With my magical powers that I have over everybody else, I think that's a good way. I think we should keep, 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 keep things like that. Um, yeah. So I'll, I'll be the, the, the leader of the world because I can, f for example, turn my arm into a dinosaur. It's just one of the examples of, of things I can do. I can turn it into all sorts of guns. I don't want to though because I think that that shows a lack of imagination. I like the dinosaur angle. That's different, you know. It's, uh, it, you know, the, just turning it into a gun, you're like, oh, God, anybody could do that. And I'm not anybody. I'm the new supreme ruler of the world, right? So, a little respect on my name, please, you know. It would be nice. Uh, you know, will I give up my janitorial duties? Possibly. I could just turn my arm into like a vacuum cleaner or a mop, you know, all that stuff. I could do that easily if I wanted to. But then I feel maybe it would be unfair of me to be a janitor because I'd be so good at it. Not that I'm not good at it right now or already was good at it. But like if I could turn my arm into like a hoover and the other arm into like a dustpan or a mop or whatever. I, I would I would be doing so much janitorial work so quickly that it would be unfair to the other janitors. Um, you know what I mean? And and you know I I I want that as a, as as a ruler as a leader I want to be nice and 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 fair. So I think maybe I will give up my janitorial duties and and leave that for somebody else to do. But I think that uh, you know that's fine. Do people keep talking about Katrina? When is Katrina coming? Tell me when Katrina is coming. What's going on? Today is the day Katrina is here. Uh, where is she? I don't know where she is. He should have told me where Katrina is. And I have not seen her. So she should be around somewhere. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh, I also have X-ray vision. That's another one of my, my powers. I don't find X-ray vision to be that useful, frankly. 
I don't like looking at people's bones. I could turn the x-ray vision on. I'm like, wow, look at the little bones. Right? But I'm like, this... The, having the power of x-ray is, is really useless when you think about it. I have found very little practical uses for the x-ray vision. I don't understand that one. I mean, if I could trade one of my powers for something else, I would trade x-ray vision. Because it's just... I don't see the point of it, frankly. Seems a bit useless to me. And you know me, I'm I'm always about the economical whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just a janitor. You can't expect me to be too articulate, can you? You know, that's fine. But, um, you know, the other dimension that I went to is um, pretty bad. Pretty bad. The air is very toxic. I can breathe the toxic air. That's fine. For me. But I don't know what it would be like for everybody else. So nobody else should go. I think it would be bad for you. It would be bad for your health. Some might say. Or might ask. Well if you want to be the, the, the leader. The supreme ruler. Of, uh, of a place. Why don't you take over the uh, the other dimension that you're in. To that I say, who's to say that I didn't? Who? But possibly it's not worth... Um, it's not worth taking over. Did you think about that? Perhaps I did take it over and I realized that it was a whole lot of crud. You know what I mean? Because um, like, the air is really poisonous and so all the denizens of, of that dimension are all a little... Uh, you know, I don't want to say that they're all a little stupid, but they're a little stupid. I'm going to have to start throwing letters from mom away. I've got too many. Oh, I want to keep the post office one. There we go. Sorted. Um, let me see. Did I write so many letters? So, yeah, it's, uh, I wouldn't advise anybody to go there. I would give it, like, a, a 5 out of 10. If I was on, like, TripAdvisor, I would say 5 out of 10, probably. You know, it's different. It's a different locale than you're used to. But also, the poisonous air is probably bad for you. And the food is garbage. So, the food was really bad. So, you, you know, I don't want to stay in that kind of environment for too long. Because it's just... It just wasn't fun for me. I'd rather come back here to this dimension. And uh, and just use my powers in an impressive way. For example, turning my arm into a dinosaur. I mean, it amuses children. Humans are like, what's the trick? What What's going on there? And I'm like, no trick. It's just my arm that I can turn into a dinosaur or other assorted things. But kids are amused. They're like, why? Why? I make a chomp. And then I make the dinosaur like chomp its jaw. Chomp, chomp. The kid's are like, wow, it's amazing. See, kids kids are receptive, you know? Humans are like, what's the trick? What's the, what's the, what, 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 what's going on here? But kids don't care. They're like, wow. Like, they're immediately amused by stuff. You know, they, um,. They like the uh, the the immediacy. They don't question stuff. They're just like, "Wow, look at that!" You know, which is uh, it's 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 something that that maybe people, humans have lost as as they've gone older. Their um their own sense of wonder. Because whenever I saw it, whenever I was able to turn my arm into a dinosaur, I was like, "Holy fuck!" You know, I'm like, "That's awesome! It's the coolest thing I've ever done." But a lot of people are like, eh, well, how do you, it's, it's some sort of, just like mirrors or something, like lasers. How did you do that as a trick? You know? I'm like, isn't that a trick? Isn't that a trick? But they think there's a trick. I left, did I leave, oh, I left this guy. I'll sell him later. I was like, did I leave stuff in here? I mean, did the person who was playing this yesterday leave stuff in here? Because I, like I said, I'm a lowly janitor who has never... Played this before and Dodes doesn't know what's going on. So, Where the hell is Katrina? Where are you? The guy was supposed to tell me where Katrina was and he did not do that. Alright, I feel like the only place I haven't been is like down here. To the left, to the right, to the left, right. 
so she's gotta be over here. Katrina! Katrina! Where the heck? You gotta tell me my fortune, Katrina. Tell me if I'm I'm destined to rule this world with an iron fist or not. It's very important. Not this world, the Animal Crossing world. I mean, this world is in the actual world that I live in. I don't see Katrina anywhere. This is annoying. Dang it, dude. Where be you? I've been everywhere, haven't I? I don't know where else it could be. Alright, well. We tried. We looked for her. We could not find her. She's not here. There is no Katrina. Which is a shame because I would offer her a position in my... In my my cabinet. My, my, my governmental cabinet. Because she's a fortune teller. I could use her mythical powers to help me. We could rule as kings. But she's uninterested. So there you go. Thank you very much for listening to this video. My confession. About how I got my mythical powers. And... In the future, if you see me in prison or in jail or in the newspaper for some kind of crazy rampage or trying to take over the world, just remember this video as a stark reminder of the human being I used to be. And uh, I'm going to miss being a janitor, but that's that's a different story. So thank you very much for watching this. I'm sure regularly scheduled programming will go back again tomorrow. Goodbye. It's like an armed dinosaur. It's really cool. Oh, my God.